So, I've never made a wooden spoon before. I also have a three-year-old little girl who loves to play kitchen and is always digging through our silverware drawers, stealing our spoons. So I've had this piece of 4x6 pine laying around the shop for about a year now and I figured it would make a good candidate to try and make a wooden spoon. Once I had the piece that I liked, I would do my best rendition of a bird's eye view of a spoon shape. And when I was happy with that, I would turn it on its side and do my best rendition of a side view of a spoon shape. The bulk of the material I would cut away with the bandsaw. And I would start by cutting out the bird's eye view first. And once I had that center section cut out, I would put the pieces back together and use blue tape to hold it all as one piece again. You could use a hot glue or double side tape, I'm sure, but this tape will hold it good enough for what I'm doing. I just wanna keep the pieces together so that I can cut out the second profile. Here you can see when I take the tape off, it's like a puzzle. And in the middle of that puzzle is going to be our spoon shape. Now my drawing was a little off and band saws don't leave the cleanest lines. So I would take it to the belt sander and give it a more proper sizing. Here I could fine tune it a little bit and balance it out and give it a little bit better shape. Once I was satisfied with the overall shape, I would draw what's to be the concave section of the spoon that I'm gonna carve out. Now, I don't carve spoons or most anything, so I don't have traditional tools. So I had the idea of heating up my utility blade and bending it. I tried to get better footage of this, but I think you get the idea. Now surprisingly, this worked really well. It was a bit cumbersome in the beginning, but again, I have no experience with using a tool that's shaped like this. And of course, this isn't the right tool for the job anyways, but once I got the hang of it, it actually went by pretty quickly. When I was happy with that, I'd take it back to the belt sander and finish shaping it and get it to more of a final dimension. And that's really all there was to it, aside from a ton of sanding going through the courses. I believe I started with about an 80 grit and worked my way up to a 320 grit.
It's really not bad for my first spoon, if I do say so myself, and it's a child's toy. She's just going to be happy that she has her own spoon to play with, which is really all that mattered, and I, I think that's pretty cool. It's definitely something I might try to do again in the future, but I might invest in different tools so I can have a little easier job at it. Thanks for watching.